Hey guys, Electro again. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own drum patterns by using loops from the loop browser and Hobnox audio tool. It involves finding loops with drum sounds you like and slicing out the individual drum sounds. Then you arrange them in the sequencer down here accordingly. Now I realize this technique could be seen as a little obsolete because of the event of the Machinist plugin which has just come out. However, you can still use it to great effect for all genres, especially if you want to have a really glitchy cut up effect like with uh, drum and bass or glitch or genres like that. So I'm going to show you right now a little example of how you can do this. The first step is to find a drum loop you like with the sound you're looking for. So I'm looking for a kick drum, so I'm going to listen to some loops and find a kick drum I like. So I like that kick drum, so I'm going to drag it into my first slot here. I'm then going to proceed to slice the pattern, leaving only the kick drum. I'm then going to copy it to the spots I want on the sequencer here. So one of the interesting things you can do is you can sort of emulate changing velocities by adding a volume automation track. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to select drum one and gain, and you're going to see a automation lane come up at the bottom here. So I want this last one to be a bit quieter. So I'm going to automate the volume down. Now that I have that, I'm going to find myself a snare or clap. I like that snare, so I'm going to drag it in, and again, I'm going to cut out the snare. I'm even going to cut a little bit short, I guess. And again, I'm going to edit the volume parameter here to achieve different velocities for interest. Lastly, I'm going to find some sort of hat. That'll do. Just going to cut out the hat here. I'm going to arrange it accordingly. So that's the basic gist of how to do this technique in Hobnox Audio Tool. Again, you can use the machinist to do pretty much the same thing. But there's also some very interesting things you can do using this method. I hope this has been helpful and I hope this contributes to your projects in the future. This is Electro signing out.